Christians gathered in big numbers at All Saints Cathedral, Nakasero, to abide farewell to the late Justice Kenneth Kakuru. Archbishop Dr. Samuel Stephen Kazim Mamgalu applauded the late for his contribution towards the church, noting that he was among the team that made amendments to the Church of Uganda Constitution. A resolution in our Constitution, it is Article 13, 6. It says, a bishop shall retire after serving for a period of 15 years upon attaining the age 65 years, or whichever comes first. So this man, I remember him, things to do with retirement, he was always there. And I think MOPs, indeed, I remember. But he had a good message. Death is not the end. There is life after that. Especially for those who accepted Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, and the life. He also commended the late for being a God-fearing person. And now we have a challenge of uh, homosexuals. Uh, and now I think I want to be in Parliament and uh, see my Anglican is the members of Parliament, whether they will say yes or no. Because some people may want to eat the money and hide and kill our nation. We shouldn't accept that. Chief Justice Alfonso Winidoro retaliated the loyalty. Justice Kakure exhibited during his life. He was a very loyal friend. Not many people are loyal friends. Only a loyal friend can remain your friend even when you are dead. In many friendships, death do us part. I had no problem with Kenneth. As a matter of fact, I appointed him in charge of organizing the registry, cause listing. The children of the late Justice Kenneth Kakuru and the widow Charity Kakuru eulogized their fellow Nihiro. He supported me, supported my father, my mother's family in any way needed despite of our age difference. Uh, I learned a lot of skills. When I was growing up, my bedroom was opposite his, <laughs> and he woke up really early, and then he would start singing. Great is thy bed, and you're in bed, and you're like, why? Every night, even when we were adults, he would come in the middle of the night and touch our faces. So you just feel a hand touching your face. He left a very big impact in everyone's life. He was an overachiever. He was not forgettable. Um, and he excelled in all these things. So you can only imagine um, what he was like in one of the most important roles that he had. Yeah, but we got to be there for him. He called us his army, and that, that means everything. That means everything to know that he knew that we were there for him no matter what. Friends of the deceased were also at hand to give in their eulogies. Let me thank the people who loved and appreciated Kenneth. He did not want anything. He didn't want that, and we didn't want it for him. He was unique. He served as a judge without fear, favor, or ill will. They didn't matter to him who you were, where you came from. I'm sure if there was anybody spiritual who came to him, he would tell him exactly what he told everybody. You can retire from active service, but you go into reserve and volunteer reserve and eternal reserve. So we shall retire. Ensure people speak about the good things you did when you are passing. Justice Kenneth Kakuru will be buried Saturday, 11th March 2023, at Rabi Shure in Imbarara, Deborah Nemamonde, UBC News.